Welcome back everyone. If you're a fan of the Gears of War franchise, you might be interested in this Gears of War movie. Yes, you heard that right. Netflix is taking a shot at making a movie out of this game. Now this sounds cool. It might be interesting to see what they make though. But there's one caveat. It's Netflix. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, considering that Netflix has been throwing random ideas at a wall and seeing what sticks. It doesn't give me much confidence that they'll make something decent out of this game or even do right by the game franchise. It just doesn't. Though it might not be all bad, from a Netflix article they do mention that the upcoming film and series will be produced in partnership with a coalition, the developer behind the Gears of War games. This might be the silver lining to the movie though. Having the development team that worked on the actual game might deter some of the dog water story writing and creative choices Netflix might want to interject that they've been doing with their recent films and new additions to Netflix. The article as well as Netflix's webpage gives some insight on the storyline for this movie. They say that a society divided and on the brink of collapse faces total extinction by the Locust, a monstrous threat from below. Delta Squad, a ragtag fire team led by disgraced Sergeant Marcus Phoenix, is now charged with leading humanity's last stand. Which isn't much to go on. There are six titles that can inspire the story for this movie. Though seeing that the Coalition is going to be working on the movie alongside with Netflix, I assume they'll want to stay true to the game series. I think that deviating from the storyline, the games would have to have some valuable information or backstory for fans to be happy with this deviation. Anything else would let everyone down and dishonor the game series. Not only that, but missing the shot on the first film would deter from any other movies succeeding within the Gears community. So in my opinion, starting from Gears 1 would be the best play. The first title has a lot to offer when creating a movie. I would also argue that Gears 2 would even be a great start. These two are arguably the peak of Gears. Some might even say Gears 3 included was still part of their most popular times, but I'm not sure. I may be out of the loop for quite some time on this game franchise to be a little out of touch, but that's my personal experience when playing almost every Gears game. I'll agree that adapting games into movies or shows is difficult due to time limitations, but done right, it may succeed. Creative choices to cut certain content from the game to the movie can also work. This is evident from the show, The Last of Us. I know that the show has more screen time to cover more content, but done right, a movie can be received well and done right as well. Now, there isn't much info outside of these two articles about what the story direction will take, but there is some inclination as to who wants to play Marcus Phoenix, and that's Dave Bautista. He's already had some relation with the game series in the past, he's had a character in Gears 5. The article I mentioned previously also says that Dave is a spitting image of Marcus, and to that, I would say yeah. Kind of. I can definitely see him playing Marcus and being a decent fit. Coltrane is said to be matched perfectly with Terry Crews. I could see that, but ideally it would be Lester Spite, the guy who actually voiced the character. He has the closest resemblance to the character, and I personally would say he is the spitting image of Coltrane. Now there are a few names thrown out there for Baird's character. They mention Ryan Reynolds or John Cena, and yeah, they could work for this character, but personally thinking back and looking around at other people that have been in the media presence, if Rich Piana was still around, I think he would have been a great fit if he was an actor, of course. Now where I was a bit iffy was The Rock playing Dominic. I just don't see it if I'm being honest. Looking back at all this information I just covered, I found it interesting that Netflix seems to be diving into the gaming sphere for movie adaptations, so we'll see how they do with this title and a few of the other titles they plan on adapting. My expectations are low. Realistically, I'm expecting a Dragon Ball Evolution level type of adaptation if I'm being honest. I don't really have too much faith in the film development team from Netflix when it comes to adapting Gears of War. But with all that said, what do you think? Can Netflix pull this off? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Make sure to turn on those bell notifications. My uploads will slow down a little bit within the next few weeks, but I will still be uploading and covering things I find interesting. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.